you know, it, it made sense to me. I mean, even if like there were 14 people in this house, I, I hate having the fate of someone in my hands. I don't enjoy that. Because everybody here equally fought to be here. I'm down with whatever you guys decide. I'm just trying, I'm just, I think in percentages and stats, and if I could go up against one less person in the, in a competition that I have a good chance of winning, for some reason, at least for me in the short term of things, that seems like a great choice. But if you think that you can outbeat those, those two people anyway, then that's better than, than what I know. I'm here for you and your dad either way. I've been here since the, you know, at the beginning until I was put in a really vulnerable position where I thought I was going to totally get get killed. I did a last desperation play. I'm not proud of it. But I wanted to prove to you guys that I was still here with you guys and that's why I didn't put you guys up. That's why I stuck to what your dad said was the right move, you know. And I plan on riding that out all the way to the end in hopes that, you know, I can make it into the top two. And if I don't, I don't. You don't have to worry about me. I just know that if Eric and Jessica, if one or the two of them win, I'm going up and I'm going home. That's not true. There's always the veto and there's everything else involved too. If you won the veto, me or my dad would go home. Yeah, and if you or your dad won the veto, it would never get used and I would go home. And I guess, you know, with those possible combinations that exist next week for HOH, I'd rather have you guys take the risk of, of one person versus two. I mean, it really, I don't know. That's why, like, when we were talking by the pool, I was worried about next week more than anything. If those two play and one of those two win, I'm going home. I know it if I can't win the POV to save my own ass. And the problem is, is I think that we could completely avoid a situation like that by getting rid of one of the two. I understand that in the long term for the votes in the end, it totally sucks, but I think that certain, certain decisions have already been carried out already, like with Dustin and Jen. And I think people have time to marinate and really look back on how the game is played and whether they choose to accept it in a strategic or a personal position that's on their own mind but what they carry out of this house and what we have to live with within this house knowing the personalities that we've encountered for the past two months is a completely different story they've had you know a month or whatever of time to just say you know get pissed off not get pissed off enjoy each other's time be relaxing on the beach think about what they want to say as they're finishing questions in the game you know I think a lot of that personal habitual stuff excluding Jen you know I, I would think that Dustin might come around for whoever is in the end I would think that certain people would really say oh my god I really did play an ultimate game I did get you know out canned or whatever and it's just the way it is I, I can't speculate for other people but if we sit in this controlled environment and say all of the people that are trying to vote our fate in the end are going to think like we're thinking because we're still in the game I think that's kind of an obtuse way of thinking because I think that those people that are on the jury granted they have personal vendettas against players in this game have had enough time to relax really organize their thoughts really come up with uh, certain questions they want to ask and you would like to think that those people would would vote intelligently based on the way in which this game was to be played. You'd like to think that, but you know these people. You lived with them for I know two months. Oh, I completely agree. It's a toss-up. We make assumptions about people in this game, and we make assumptions when they leave this game. Those, I mean, and when I watched All Stars, you know, when I watched the keys come out, there were people. You know, I think James voted for for Boogie to win. I didn't really expect that that was going to be an option. I mean, there were certain people, I don't know if that's the right per, like setup, but there were people that voted for people I never thought that they were going to vote for in the end part of the game. And that just goes to show me that there are people out there that vote 
intelligently based on the game and not personal. But then again, I think the cast that we have this year is quite young, and I would like to, th I mean, I think personally that, you know, you being 21, 22, you're a very mature player for, for this environment. The other 21-year-olds and the 22-year-olds or whatever that have passed through this game are like children. It's, it's upsetting because a lot of people here don't really seem like they're here to play the game for what it truly is meant to be. And that's just hard. <clears throat> it doesn't, I, for some reason it just doesn't feel like there's an, bless you. there's an equal balance. Want some Arizona iced tea? No, thanks. I can't take it anymore. It's too hot.